Hello, I am Joe with the IBM QRadar technical support education team. And in this video, we are going to discuss what to submit when you're experiencing a QRadar software issue. When you open a support ticket, you can help expedite your ticket by submitting the appropriate information. The following information can be submitted with customer service requests when you report software issues in QRadar. A detailed description of the issue, including the steps taken or changes made before the issue occurred. A screen capture showing the issue or on-screen error message. The steps taken by the user or administrator to try to resolve the problem. An export from get logs in QRadar. And finally, the product version and build number. This information is available from the user interface. To view your QRadar version, from the Dashboard tab, select Help and About. Now we are going to discuss how to collect log files from the QRadar user interface. First, click the Admin tab, then click System and License Management. Select the QRadar appliances that you want to collect logs from in the user interface. Please note, you can use Shift plus click or Control plus click to get logs from multiple appliances. If you do not select any appliance, the default action is to collect logs from the QRadar console. If you are troubleshooting application issues on an app host appliance, select both the app host and console appliance, then collect logs for your case. Select Actions, Collect Log Files. Expand out the Advanced Options tab. In most cases, unless you are experiencing application or extension issues, the default options can be used. If you are troubleshooting an issue with an application, such as an installation issue or apps that fail to start, you must check the box Include Application Extension Logs. Unless advised by QRadar support, there is no need to enable the Include Debug Logs checkbox. If you are having issues with the QRadar extension or installing an application, select the Include Application Extension Logs checkbox. If you recently upgraded your appliance, installed software updates, or are having issues with managed hosts, select the Include Setup Logs checkbox. Most administrators can leave the Collect Logs for this many days field blank. However, if you are collecting logs from multiple hosts, then choosing a known time frame will limit the size and time it takes to collect log files. Encryption of log files now prompts for a user to find password. If this option is selected, the password must be passed onto IBM support to facilitate decryption of the log files. Click Collect Log Files. Once the Get Logs has been compiled, the system will now prompt you to download the file. Download the file and be sure to attach it to your support ticket. Now we're going to discuss how to collect log files for QRadar from the command line interface. To collect logs from the command line, root access is required. The get underscore logs dot sh utility is available on every version of QRadar and can be run on each appliance individually to collect logs. If you are having user interface issues, use this utility as a backup when the QRadar console is unable to be accessed in order to submit logs for your appliance. Using SSH, log into the console appliance as the root user. Type in the following command, slash opt, slash QRadar, slash support, get underscore logs dot sh. Once completed, the script will inform you that a log was created and will provide the name and location, which is always the slash store slash logs directory. For administrators having application or extension issues, use the dash A option to collect application logs for your console log information. For a list of commands that can be run, type slash op slash QRadar slash support slash get underscore logs dot sh space dash h. In this example, we are going to run the get logs utility without any switches. Once the script is completed, the screen will let you know where the file is located. Copy the tar.gz file to a system that has access to an external network to upload your log file with your software ticket. Thank you for joining us to learn about what to submit when you are experiencing a QRadar software issue. If you need more assistance, use the link in the description to contact support.